Today we will talk about Japan's futuristic railgun, one that fires projectiles with electricity instead of gunpowder, which can travel up to six times the speed of sound. Now you must have seen these type of guns only in a video game or a movie, but now, you can see it on a Japanese warship today. So before Japan brought the railgun to life, this idea had been bouncing around for over a century. It all began in 1917, during World War I, when a French inventor named André Fauchinvillepli built the first working model of an electric cannon. Alongside the French military took interest and even commissioned a prototype. But as soon as the war ended, so did the project. Then came World War II, and with it, Germany's ambitious scientists. They drew up blueprints for an anti-aircraft railgun that could launch shells at 2,000 meters per second. But again, the tech wasn't ready. They calculated the power needed and realized it would be enough to light up half of Chicago. So it stayed on paper. Then came the 1980s, when the U.S. military seriously picked up railgun research. By 2010, the U.S. Navy made history, firing a railgun projectile at nearly Mach 10, using over 18 megajoules of energy. That was the first time a railgun reached such performance levels. But due to some technical hurdles, the U.S. Navy famously shelved its railgun project in the early 2020s. So you might get that how serious this project is, and we will see how Japan made this successful while other nation cannot. So before we get into this, we will see the working process of railgun. So what exactly is a railgun? In simple terms, it's an electromagnetic cannon. Instead of using explosive gunpowder to shoot a shell, a railgun uses powerful electric currents and magnetic fields to accelerate a projectile down a pair of metal rails. So when the rails are charged, the electricity creates a magnetic force that flings the projectile forward at extreme speed. We're talking hypersonic velocities, around 2,000 meters per second, over 4,400 miles per hour, roughly Mach 6, in Japan's design goals. That's six times faster than a bullet from a handgun. And because it relies on kinetic energy, the projectile doesn't even need explosives. It hits targets with sheer speed and force. Well, Japan's journey with railguns began quietly in the 2010s. In 2016, the Japanese Ministry of Defense's research arm, called ATLA, started full-scale development of an electromagnetic railgun. The project, nicknamed Research on Electromagnetic Acceleration Systems, set ambitious goals from the start. They wanted their prototype to fire shells at 2,000 meters per second and for the barrel to survive at least 120 shots without major damage. For context, traditional naval guns suffer barrel damage from explosive blasts, but a railgun has no gunpowder blast to worry about. But there are some challenges. Intense electrical currents and friction can chew up the metal rails that guide the projectile. Early tests showed the rail's surface would erode, reducing muzzle velocity over time. The Japanese engineers methodically tackled this problem. They experimented with different metal alloys and materials for the rails, moving away from simple copper. While combination of different metal alloys hold up 120 test shots, without any significant damage, and was still firing at full speed. Achieving that 120 round durability was a huge milestone, proving the design's toughness. So since they solved the problem, still there's one last big challenge they must face, power. Power is the big one. A railgun demands an enormous jolt of electricity for each shot, on the order of millions of jowls in a fraction of a second. For perspective, a single shot might use enough energy to power several thousand homes for that instant. Fitting that kind of power supply on a ship is tough. ATLA has been working to reduce the power requirements and make the system more energy efficient. But it's still a heavy drain. There's also the matter of cooling. Firing a railgun rapidly can heat up the rails and electronics. They need robust cooling systems so the gun doesn't overheat during a firefight. This partly explains why current prototypes are bulky, think big capacitor banks and cooling units taking up space. The Japanese team is researching how to miniaturize power and cooling tech so that future warships can carry railguns without sacrificing other systems. And the above footage you are watching is from American's Navy testing its first rail gun in 2016. So I am showing this footage because you can do a comparison between Japan's railgun and America's railgun, even though it's a failure project. Here you can see the size between these two. Seeing how compact the railgun Japan made is truly a tech marvel. So why is Japan investing in this high-tech cannon? 
What do they plan to do with a railgun? The answer is railguns are best for air missile defense. As you see in this image a railgun's projectile or penetrator flying at Mach 5 or 6, which is around 2050 miles per second, could intercept a missile or warhead in mid-air with sheer kinetic hit-to-kill impact. So what I am trying to say is this railgun can easily intercept a hypersonic missile. At last, here's something people might not expect. Japan isn't doing all of this alone. They've been collaborating with international partners on railgun tech, notably with France and Germany. In 2024, Japan's ADLA signed a cooperation agreement with the French-German Research Institute of St. Louis, ISL, a lab known for electromagnetic research. This kind of partnership means the teams share data, test results, and brain power. In fact, engineers have been exchanged between Japan and Europe. Japanese railgun experts went to work with ISL in France, and German-French experts came to Japan's labs. The goal is to pool their knowledge to solve common challenges. That's all for today. Duh.